Come over the board. Look at that. That's a monster. Woo! Look at that yellow bit, boys and girls! Respect Outdoors, presented by Steiner Binoculars. Nothing escapes these eyes. Also brought to you by Burris Optics. See the light. Setlock, get close, go undetected. Also brought to you by Big Lake Lodge. Come fish in our backyard. Hey everybody. Welcome to Panama. We're fishing out of Aqua Lodge this weekend. We're on the Pacific Coast. We just flew in with Napex. Look at this beautiful wave. No! Yes! Yeah, how sick was that? I've been wanting to do that for a long time. Let's go fishing. Hey there, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Respect Outdoors. I'm your host, Robert Arrington, and this week we are in Panama on the hunt for a giant yellowfin tuna. These majestic fish are some of the most powerful fish I've ever done battle with, and they are equally as good to eat. Anytime I think of yellowfin tuna, especially big 200 plus pound yellowfin tuna, I think of the Pacific coast of Panama. And there is no lodge that I know of any more strategically located than Hooked on Panama. When I planned this trip, I chose Hooked on Panama for a number of reasons. A, whether you're running 40, 45 miles out to Montuosa, whether you're running over to Ladrones, or whether you're fishing right out front of Punta Brica. Within one mile, you're in deep blue water, and it means you're always in the game. The second reason I chose Hooked on Panama is its wonderful staff. Nice couple of guys from Hawaii and their wives came to Panama, built their dream because they were hooked on Panama. And then all the help, our mates, our captains, the crew that take care of the landscape, the pool, the food. I mean, the list goes on and on. Hooked on Panama is special, it's small, low key, and it's a place for me to get away and go on a trip and specifically target big old yellowfin tuna. And three, I love Panama. Yeah! Now, as a fisherman, when we're down there, we're always on the lookout for bird schools, or tuna schools, or porpoise schools. Sometimes far in the distance, you'll just see white splashes, white splashes, and that's where these dolphin are jumping, landing in the water, splashing, and then as you get closer, you'll see the birds diving, and you'll see the fish coming up, crashing, and you know that underneath the surface is an all-out feeding frenzy. Well, if we're targeting smaller fish, we can get on the front of the boat and throw poppers, or we can drop butterfly jigs, or we can throw out chunks of bait. But in this circumstance, I'm after the biggest tuna I can find. And folks, when you hook up with a big yellowfin tuna, nobody has to tell you that you are in for the fight of your life. Hey. Oh, he just ate it right there. Oh my gosh, what a huge fish! Oh my gosh. Go for it, go for it. Oh my goodness, look at that! Look at that! This is the big daddy here. Okay, stop, man. 
This is a big fish. I'm Ed Eaton. And I'm Chuck Mawinney. As snipers, they were trained to use old school techniques, paired up with spotters to range and take out targets. Now, they use one of the most advanced rifle scopes in the world, the Eliminator 3. At any magnification, the X96 reticle shows the range and holdover for your specific cartridge, and the wind compensation system makes this the ultimate rifle scope. Just range them and eliminate them. Just pulled up here to Montosa Island. Ah, uh, it's a little blue jack. Just pulled up to Montosa Island. Put out a, oh my gosh, look at that. That's the best little tuna bait in the world for big yellowfin tunas, for blue marlin, anything. Well, here at Hooked on Panama, their boats are rigged as good as they can possibly be rigged. We've got a live bait well, we've got tuna tubes, we've got everything we need right here. So hey, it's the start of the day. We're catching some bait, trying to mark our numbers, get a feel for what's going on. Later in the afternoon, I expect yellowfin tunas to pop up. We're gonna be using some live bonitas for bait, live baiting for blue marlin, black marlin, and the giant yellowfins. But when you're fishing in heaven, anything can happen. We're in heaven right now. I expected to catch a marlin, some sailfish, a big dorado, and a bunch of yellowfins right off the bat. But it didn't happen. We ran out there in the heaven for big fish, and we didn't get a bite. Why? Because they weren't there when we were there, and if they were, they weren't biting. But the same way when you're deer hunting. You know, I've been to Iowa where I know for a fact we have monster whitetails, and I've sat all day long and seen a young buck and a couple of does and it's like ghost town. Where are they? I don't know, but they're not where I'm looking. Fishing and hunting is the same way. Persistence and time in the field is the key to, to killing big animals and catching big fish. The preparation, always being ready. You know what, when you're walking into your stand, you constantly need to be on the lookout. Look for an ear, look for the side of a rack. Look for a deer to be looking at you. Listen, your hunt doesn't start when you get in the tree. Your hunt starts the moment you start walking. When you're up in that tree stand, you're hunting all morning long, maybe you're getting out, heading into town for lunch, get down quietly, walk quietly, always looking and listening. You never know when a big buck's gonna be pushing a doe by, all of a sudden, in the heat of the moment, you thought it was a, a blown day, here comes your monster buck, boom! Best hunt of your life. Hunting and fishing is the exact same way. It's all about being in a good location, being prepared, staying positive, and ready for whatever happens. Well, that day we were at Montosa, we fished all day long. I threw everything at them except the kitchen sink and we caught literally almost nothing. Maybe some amberjacks, that was it. But before I left to come home, I was like, let's put some little bonitas in the tuna tubes, just in case. Everyone's like, ah, we ain't gonna see nothing. Just in case, started heading home. I'm up on the bow of the boat, relaxed with Travis Ketchy, and all of a sudden, out in the distance, there they are. See the splash of some spinner dolphins, birds going nuts, and the closer we got, I knew it was game time, folks. When we were at Montos, I said, man, we need to have some live baits in the box. Just in case we find a fish on the way out or on the way home. And guess what happened? I didn't have time to put on a shirt. I didn't have time to put on my mic. All I had time to do was say, get the camera back here because I just got bit. Look at that. There you go. It's like having on that pair of shades. Thanks, old man.
care how in shape you are, if you don't have the proper technique, these fish are going to kill you. So you gotta keep your weight in your butt, keep your weight in your butt, and only get land when you can. Like right now he's in straight up. I want to put the loops to him, but I don't want to break him off. I've been fishing all day. Every time I get to him, he takes his way back. Many times, record book bucks cause you to stray off the grid where few weekend warriors care to go. Hunters like Pete Alfano knows the quest for the best requires supreme skill, dedication, and the best gear. The Scentlock Headhunter system answers the call by providing superior scent control technology that's ready for almost any situation. An advanced soft shell resists weather and remains tough and quiet under the most extreme conditions, while articulated arms, shoulders, and knees allow for maximum range of movement when it's on the line. Scentlock. Taste victory. Hey everybody, welcome back to Respect Outdoors. This segment is brought to you by Scentlock. I define success by getting to take a picture with a big buck at the end of a hunt. And the number one key to getting that done is eliminating my scent. I do that using a successful Scentlock method. Head cover, gloves, coveralls, rubber boots, and my base layers. Hey folks, on your next hunt, get yourself a set of Scentlock, take care of it, and it'll take care of you. Anytime you're doing battle with a big fish, you have to be on the same page with your crew. Your captain has to be familiar with how to position that boat so that you can fight the fish, apply maximum pressure, and not break them off on the side of the boat. This is a team sport, folks. This ain't like jerking a crappy in off the lake with a cane pole. This is like catching a darn heifer that's madder than a, a nest of hornets with a fishing pole. You know, like that. You know, like the hook in his mouth. I go up on the drag, he pulls harder. This fish might be bigger than I think. This fish might be a 200 pounder. You know? Uh, it looks like it. Turn the boat, turn the boat. There he is, I see color. Beautiful yellowfin right here. Can you see the color down there? Nice yellowfin, buddy. At least a hundred pounder. Come here, here's the leader. Okay, get in there. Turn the boat, turn the boat, turn the boat. One fifty. One fifty. Come on, easy. Come on, grab the head. Wait a second. One, two, three. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about, boys and girls. <laughs> Woo! Look at that yellow bit, boys and girls! There is nothing like that. Catching a big, giant yellowfin tuna is amazing. Hey folks, that was perfect. That was a job well done. We had bait. We were expecting, hopefully, to see a fish. We found him. We got a monster hooked up, put him in the boat. Now it's time to get back in front of him. 
you're always trying to keep an eye on those birds and on those dolphin because that's your eye into the water. Those birds and dolphin will be with the tuna. So once you locate them again, make a big wide swoop, figure out what direction they're going, get out in front of them and put your bait in the water. Babe. Oh, he just ate it right there. Oh my gosh, what a huge fish! Oh my gosh. Go for it, go for it. We can lose, we can lose, we can lose some of All I'm saying is when I saw that fish eat, all I saw was shoulders, man. You see the bite. Fish bait comes up all of a sudden, whoa. Hi there and welcome to Big Lake Lodge, right here in Okeechobee, Florida. This park has been owned and operated by my mom and dad, Walt and Betty Arrington, for the past 15 years. Come and enjoy it. It's Southern hospitality. We've got 500 feet of seawall, 13 docks, and a beautiful boat ramp. It's clean, it's safe, and it's convenient. Whether you're trying to get away from the cold or just get away from the stress, come visit Big Lake Lodge. Fish in our backyard. As most of you know, the Burris Eliminator Laser Scope is the most advanced rifle scope on the market today. But did you know that it's also the best possible muzzleloader and slug gun scope as well? Simple and easy to mount and quickly calibrated in just minutes. You can easily extend the effective range of your muzzleloader or slug gun out to 300 yards. Just range them and eliminate them. Top your slug gun or muzzleloader with the new Burris Eliminator Laser Scope and you'll become a better and more efficient hunter. All right, hey there everybody. Welcome back to Respect Outdoors. This segment is brought to you by sportoptics.com. Anything you need optics related, and I mean anything. Binoculars, scopes, advice, you name it. Just check it out, sportoptics.com. You got my word, Robert Arrington, I put my word on it. This is a quality site with quality products at a quality price. Now back to the show. Fish just turned his head and gave us a bunch of line. And whenever a tuna gives you his, when, when, when a tuna gives you his head, don't pump, just crank, 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 crank. Well, because if you stop cranking, he starts taking. We're gonna see him here shortly. Yeah, there's color right there. Right there. Right there. No, keep, keep, keep in the turn. Keep the way he was. what I live for! Turn him, turn him out, turn him out, turn him out. This is a giant yellowfin, dude. This is a huge yellowfin. A yellowfin, we got a yellowfin here, okay, my friend? is what success is all about. All day long we fished, just like you. You've sat in your tree stand all day long hoping that big buck comes by. Some days he never comes by, but you're always prepared. You're wearing your scent lock. You've carefully scouted your area and you feel confident that, that a big buck's gonna come by. Maybe he doesn't. That doesn't mean you lose hope. That means you continue hunting and you stay the course, you stay persistent and you stay prepared. 
this day was the same thing. We fished all day out at Montuosa, virtually no luck. About had a heat stroke. On the way in, in the last hour, bam, there they are. Catch two big old yellowfin tunas. And you know what? That put a big old smile on my face. On this trip, we were out and we found a long line. It's like the mother of all trout lines. Well, we found one with a sailfish up, jumping around, going nuts. And I was like, you know what? I know they're not trying to catch sailfish. They're trying to catch dolphin and, and tuna. So I put on my mask and fins, jumped in the water, and I swam over there basically with a mad sailfish with a big old sharp bill and figured out how to get him caught took the hook out of his mouth and let him go. It's not why I was there, but I'll never forget it. Watch the sailfish shade, buddy. No reason to let a sailfish die. For no reason. Beautiful fish. Love catching them. In life. You have memories, and memories alone. Go make some yourself. And we'll see you again next week, the same place, the same time. Take care, God bless.